Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, November 16th. It is Thursday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. It's the optional memorial of St. Margaret of Scotland and also St. Gertrude. It's day 68 to be formed. And I want to have a shout out here for the 7th and 8th graders at St. Raymond Nonatus Cathedral School in Joliet. We had our big uh, vocation conference here at St. Isaac's the last two days. We had about 1,400 seventh and eighth graders come through here. We had priests, men and women religious. We had uh, <coughs> seminarians and just had a great time, you know, lifting up the young people in faith and also just having them ask God the question, God, what have you created me to do? We're all called to be holy. And the closer we come to Jesus, the more we will then know God's call. So uh, the seventh and eighth graders at, at uh, St. Raymond's Cathedral School, they listen to these videos every day. And I was my heart was touched by that. So maybe if you're a school teacher or RE, maybe share these videos with your seventh and eighth graders or older. Um, it was, I was moved by what they were sharing of what, those, what these videos have meant to them. A little bit about St. Margaret of Scotland. She was born in England, educated in Hungary. You say, how did she get to Scotland? Uh, she married King Malcolm III around 1070. Uh, she worked for uh, reform of the church in Scotland, founding monasteries, churches, and hostels for pilgrim travelers. Um, she unified the Scots by introducing the liturgy in Latin, and uh, she was the mother of eight children, uh, died at the age of 47. So those of you who are moms, maybe those who have, you know, more than, uh, you know, a few children, you think, gosh, you know, can I be holy? Can I be a saint? St. Margaret of Scotland is a great example for all of us. So we pray for her intercession today. As we look at the readings today, the first reading is from the Book of Wisdom, uh, chapter 7. So the Book of Wisdom personifies wisdom. The author writes about wisdom as if uh, it were a woman. So I want you to hear these words and to think, would this describe me? You know, am I a person that seeks wisdom? And wisdom is, uh, in, it's intelligent, holy, subtle, agile, clear, unstained, uh, loving the good, kind, secure, tranquil, all-powerful, all-seeing. It penetrates and pervades all things, pure, spotless mirror of the power of God. These are all beautiful symbols. Now, we're not all powerful or, um, what was that? All, all powerful or pervades all things. But through the Holy Spirit, we can start to see things and do things that, you know, humanly, it's not possible. So let's pray for the gift of wisdom. Let's pray for the gift to be able to see things from God's point of view. As we look to the gospel, uh, Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said this, the coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed. So we're not going to be able to see the kingdom of God. And he says, and no one will announce, look, here it is, or, or there it is, for behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Who is the kingdom of God? It's Jesus. Um, the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of God, the, 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 the Holy Spirit, part of the Holy Trinity, the third person, lives in each one of us. We can't see the Spirit, but the kingdom of God is among us. Do we recognize God's presence in the person right in front of us? This always inspires me when I hear, you know, Mother Teresa and people like her who would say, I pray to see Jesus in every person that I encounter. And as they do that, they, they're able to do things like treat the poor and the sick in ways that a lot of people would be repulsed or would want to run away. And so we pray for that ability to perceive the kingdom of God ar around us. He says, the days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man. There will be those who will say, look, there he is, or look, here he is, but do not go off, do not run in pursuit. We see this sometimes where people want to say, there's the Messiah, or, here he is, and we, we go running off and we lose track of, you know, where we're at in this moment. I always say, let's keep our eyes on Jesus and he will, he will guide us. And then he says, he warns them, but 
he must first suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. Of course, speaking about himself, the Pharisees probably didn't understand what he was saying there, but we do 2,000 years later. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for the gift of wisdom. We pray for the ability to see things as you see them. Help us to see the Holy Spirit all around us. Help us to recognize the kingdom of God among us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.